Welcome to class. Sit up on your heels, bring the knees together, and place your hands in your lap. Close your eyes, sit up tall, and just observe your natural breath flowing in and out of your body. Relax your face, your shoulders. Connect to your inner landscape. Today's practice is about finding balance and stability. We will first warm up the body and then move into static holes where we will be in the posture for about a minute. And by holding poses for longer periods of time, you can get the opportunity to properly align and position yourself in space. And you gain a greater understanding for small adjustments that help you settle into each pose in a way that's best for your body. Let the intention of today's practice be all about gaining more patience in our lives. Patience for ourselves, others, situations, work, family, friends. Maybe a posture that challenges us, that we just want to step out of it. Today you will face longer holds, so be patient with yourself and try to push through it by being patient, patient for the one minute that you're going to be in the pose. With this intention, bring the hands in front of your heart. Take a deep breath in. Exhale everything out. And inhale for OM. Bow down to your heart. Start to blink the eyes open. Let's begin. Interlace the fingers behind your back. Draw the fist down towards the floor and open the chest to the ceiling. Take a couple of breaths there. And then bring the fist over to your right hip and lean your head over towards your right shoulder. Stretch the left side of your neck. Keep both shoulders down and away from the ears. Feel how your neck muscle is lengthening with every exhalation. Inhale to bring the head back to center. Stretch the arms behind your back once more. Open the heart towards the ceiling. And then bring the fist over to your left hip bone. Bring your left ear down towards the shoulder. Keep both shoulders down and stretch the right side of your neck. Breathe into that space. The face muscles remain relaxed.
and inhale, bring the head back to center. Walk the hands back next to the feet and inhale the hips up and forward. You can keep your chin tucked in, no need to throw the head back. Lift the hips a little bit higher, feel the opening, and slowly exhale, release. Interlace the fingers in front of your heart, and then stretch the arms up, and exhale, round the back. Inhale, up, stretch, and exhale, round the back, hands coming down. Inhale, up, lengthen. Exhale, round the back. Inhale, come up. Exhale, round. Stretch, find space in your mid-back. Inhale to come up. And then open the palms so they face each other. Keep the shoulder blades down. Inhale, lift up and exhale. Twist over to your right side. Hips are grounded, weight is evenly distributed in both sit bones. Inhale back to center and exhale over to your left side. Stretch the arms up, twist, twist a little bit more with the next exhalation. and come back to center. Release the arms down. Let's come onto all fours. Place your wrists right underneath the elbows and the shoulders, knees underneath the hips, tuck the toes, and move through a couple of cat and cow movements. Waking up the spine, inhale, arch the back, look up, push the floor away, Exhale, round the back, tuck the chin in, find space in your mid-back. Maybe start circling the hips. Anything that you feel can help you to wake up the spine. And next time you exhale, round the back, push the floor away, and then start sending the hips from left to right, lengthening your side body. And then inhale up, hold a little longer. Turn the wrists outwards so that the fingertips face your knees. Walk the knees back a little bit, and do the same movement again, cat and cow. This is really just about finding length, finding space. So just move in a way that feels good for you. If you want to increase the stretch on your forearms, walk the feet back and come into high plank. The neck is long, belly sucked in, legs active. Push the floor away and breathe nice and steady. Bring the knees back. Place the palms facing upwards towards the ceiling, fingertips touching and start making little circles, releasing the wrists. circling to the other direction. Sit back onto your heels, release the wrists, shake the hands out. And then place the hands right next to your knees. Take an inhalation and draw the knees into the chest. Forehead down towards the knees, hips elevated, more or less in line with your shoulders. Press into the tops of your feet. Exhale. 
exhale, release. Roll the shoulders back. Come into Garudasana arms. Place your right elbow on top of the left. Keep the elbows in line with your shoulder. And with the next exhalation, twist to the left side. Tuck the chin in. Find a good stretch in your neck. In your shoulders. Inhale, come back to center. Change the position of the arms, left elbow on top of right. Inhale there and twist with the exhalation. Release the head down. Exhale, twist a little bit more. And inhale back to center, release. Interlace the fingers behind your back. Release the index fingers and walk the hands back. Open the chest once more. And then inhale, left arm comes up, bend the elbow. Right hand comes behind the back, bend that elbow as well and try to catch your fingers or maybe hold on to a piece of your clothes. Hold here, breathe into your left upper arm bone. Feel the stretch. Exhale, change of position, right arm coming up, left arm back. Catch your fingers. Keep lengthening the spine. Draw the upper elbow back a little bit further. Release. Roll the shoulders back a couple of times. And then place the hands right in front of you, come into tabletop position and move into downward facing dog. Walk the legs out one by one, lowering one heel down at a time. Keep pushing the floor away, find a straight spine. Take your time here to warm up the back of the legs, release the head, shaking it out. Slow conscious movements. And then shift the weight forward to high plank, right knee to forehead, lift the knee up into your chest. Steady breathing, push the floor away around your upper back and step back. Exhale there and then inhale, slowly come forward, high plank and draw the left knee into the chest. Knee to forehead, lift your left toes away from the mat. Find a strength in your core and slowly step both feet back. Look forward, bend your knees and step the feet forward. Keep them a little bit wider than hip distance width apart, toes turning outwards and come into a squat. Bring the hands in front of your heart into Anjali Mudra. If you can't lower down the heels, then elevate them with maybe a bolster or blocks, a blanket. Keep the chest lifted shoulders relaxed, the spine is long. Mm. 
and lift your foot arches and then slowly bring the left hand out towards the side inhale the right arm up you can stay here or maybe bind bend your left elbow and then bring the right hand behind you and catch your right wrist with the left hand curl open look over the right shoulder the breath is soft and steady inhale back to center hands to heart right arm comes out and in front of you inhale the left arm up stay there look to your palm If you want, go into a bind. And look over the shoulder, or keep the eyes closed. The weight is evenly distributed in your feet. And exhale, release hands to heart. Walk the hands forward, slowly come up. Walk the feet in, but only hip distance with apart. Straighten your legs and catch the opposite elbows. Let the torso be heavy, dangle down. The neck is relaxed. Keep pressing the heels away from each other. Front thighs are active. Shift the weight a little bit more into your toes. Relaxed breathing. Feel how the elbows are coming down towards the floor with each exhalation a little bit more. And then let go of the elbows. Slowly curl up one vertebra at a time. Round back. Take a couple of breaths here to roll up. No rush. And the head comes up at the very end of the movement. Close your eyes for a moment. Hold this posture. And then bring the feet together. Let's start our passive holds with Tadasana. One minute, palms can face forward or towards your thighs. Root down into the earth through all four corners of the feet. Find a center of the feet. This is a good opportunity to see if you're leaning more into your toes or heels. We want to evenly distribute the weight. Find the natural curve of your spine. Relaxed breathing. Relaxed face. And then slowly exhale, bend forward, tuck the chin in. Inhale, lift the chest up and step your right leg back. Bend the front knee. Hold this position just for a moment. Lift the chest up. Check in with your left hip and then slowly move your 
left hand to the inside of your left knee. Left hip moving down, back heel right above your toes. Keep the chest lifted, spine is long. Holding this position for one minute. Put your attention into parts of the body that need attention. Direct the breath into that space. And then slowly step back and bring the right foot forward. Place it immediately to the outside of your right little finger. Lift the chest up, press the floor away. Find your drishti, find stability, length in the body. Bring the awareness into your back thigh, lift it away from the mat. Connect back to your intention of patience. And step the left foot forward. Inhale, lift the spine, lengthen the spine, lengthen the legs. Bring the feet together about hip distance width apart and we're going to find chair pose for one minute. The thighs are parallel to each other, palms facing. Lift the chest and bring most of your weight into your heels. Now this is a very challenging posture. It brings a smile into my face to actually deal with this. Maybe the same applies to you, but we both know that this is only one minute. It won't last forever and we can definitely get through this. Find stability, find your drishti. Connect to the present moment. Accept the burning of your thighs. Embrace the position and inhale, straighten the legs, look up, palms touch, exhale, fold forward. Bend the knees and find the connection of your thighs and your belly and then reach the arms behind the knees, cross your wrists and hold on to the front of your shin or ankle bones. From there, slowly start straightening the legs into a position that you can hold steady for one minute. Belly and the thighs stay connected. Heels moving away from each other. Find your drishti, maybe close your eyes. Stretching the entire backside of your body, the upper body, the legs. Breathe into the back body to create more length and space. Just a couple of breaths left and then inhale, release, lift halfway up and come all the way up to standing, palms touch, look up, hands to your heart, roll the shoulders back, take a moment there 
and we're moving into tree pose. Shift the weight onto your right foot and bring the left foot to the inside of your thigh. Hands to the heart. Find stability. Find a gaze. It's not so important to lift the foot all the way up. It can also be lower down. But what we want to find is steadiness, balance. The left foot is pressing against the thigh, chest is lifted, the face is relaxed. And slowly release the pose. Come straight into the other side, weight shifting into the left foot, right foot coming up same position as before lift the belly up lift the chest straight long spine right knee is moving backwards foot pressing against the thigh find stability steadiness tree pose and release from here exhale fold forward and then step your left leg back we're finding warrior two pose align your heels with each other sink deep into your front knee make sure your right heel knee and right hip are all in one line Tuck your right sit bone under, lift the chest, lift the belly, lift the arms. The arms are in one straight line, shoulders relaxed. Find a soft gaze. Make sure your front thigh is parallel to the floor to not just work on the thighs, but also on your hamstrings. Bring all the energy to your center, feeling the back foot, the front foot. It helps to smile. Thighs are burning. Exhale, bring the right elbow on top of your thigh and inhale the left arm up, side angle pose. The right palm is facing up. Stretch the side body from your left heel to the hip into your little finger keep the neck in a position that is comfortable bring the awareness into your right hip draw it in bring the sit bone under you can do it take a couple of more breaths Relax into the pose, embrace the pose. Be patient, it's only one minute. And slowly start straightening the legs and the arms come up. Bring the hands onto the hips and shorten the stance a little bit. Align yourself again, heel to heel. And from there find Trikonasana. Bring the right hand down onto a block or your shin bone or the foot and lift the left arm up. 
both legs are straight, the spine is long, reaching through the crown of the head. Reach your left fingers up towards the ceiling. The arms are in one straight line. Move the top shoulder a little bit back. Keep the neck in a position that works for you. Root into the outer edge of your back foot. And curl your right back ribs under. Lift the chest up to the ceiling. Let the breath be your anchor. And exhale down, bend the front knee to come up, inhale. And then turn your right foot in. Hold the neutral position here for a moment. And we're going to move into the other side. So turn the left foot forward. Walk the right foot a little bit further back. And we're moving into warrior two. Sink into the front knee, position yourself and then spread the arms wide. Open your torso to the long edge of the mat. Have the shoulders in one line. Look past your front fingers. Palms facing down, shoulders relaxed. Front knee in one line with your heel. Work on the hamstrings. Draw your left sit bone under. We can get through this. Keep breathing. Keep smiling. In yoga, we many times just rush through the poses without dealing with the posture sometimes. So this gives us a good opportunity to find the strength and the meaning of the pose. Good. Come to side angle. Lower down your left elbow on top of the thigh, palm facing up. Inhale, lengthen your right arm. Stretch your right side body from your heel to the hip, to the armpit, all the way into the fingers. Imagine someone pulling you by the fingers. Lift the chest up towards the ceiling. I'm smiling. Smile with me. I know it's tough, but we can do it. It's a beautiful way to face the pose. To face the little voice in our head that's telling us, move out, move out. No, we're staying. Stay. We are almost there. Do some little adjustments that you need to do to be able to hold the pose for a couple of breaths more. Good. Exhale, look down, straighten the legs and inhale the arms up, hands to the waist. Find a neutral position for a moment. And then walk the feet in a little bit. Stay aligned heel to heel and find Trikonasana. Lower down the left hand. Use props if you need to. And inhale the top arm up. Roll the right shoulder back. Bring the neck into a position that feels comfortable. Roll your left back ribs under, right ribs up towards the ceiling. Curl open. Both legs are straight. Pressing into the outer edge of your back foot and lengthening through the crown of the head and your fingertips. Stay present. Stay with your breath. And inhale. 
come up, step to the front of your mat, hands in front of the heart, close your eyes. And then release the hands by your side and exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift, plant the hands down and then slowly step back, come onto all fours. Wrist, elbow, shoulders in one line, knees underneath the hips, toes tucked under. Press the palms firmly into the floor and lift the chest up. The neck is neutral look down or close your eyes send the sit bones up towards the sky arch your lower back and focus on opening your chest hold steady Make sure you don't collapse into your shoulders. Keep pressing the floor away. Pull the chest through. And then release. Round your back. Tuck the chin in. Draw the tailbone in. Press the floor away. Release the spine from the back bend and sit back onto your heels for toe stretch. Roll the shoulders a couple of times. Hands on your lap, eyes closed. Draw the heels towards each other. Soften the front ribs to the midline. Shoulders relaxed, face relaxed. Commit to this pose. Stay with me. and release bring the forearms down tap your feet release the toes and let's come into a low plank position the shoulders are right above your elbows forearms parallel or if you like you can also interlace the fingers if that helps Back heels are right above your toes. Suck the belly in. Press the floor away. Lift the thighs away from the floor. Look down. Steady breathing. Feel the activation of your back body just as much as your front body. It's a beautiful pose to build strength. We're doing this together, so keep breathing nice and steady. Relax your mind as good as you can. We're going to move into a side plank in a moment. I'll show you the first variation. Bring both heels over towards your left side. Stay on your elbow and lift the right arm up. Or if you want to go into the full variation, lift the hips up and straighten your arm, press into your left palm. Right arm moving up. Lift the hips up, press into 
the feet. Steady breathing. Strong left shoulder. Whenever you think you want to come down, kick the hips up even higher. Fight the tendency to come down. We're nearly there. Just a couple of breaths more. And bring the right hand down. Let's move straight into the other side. So turn the heels over to your right and lift the arm up. Remember, if you want to take the modification, you can do so, elbow on the ground. If it's too much for the neck, you can also hold on to the base of the neck, resting the head in your hand. Peel the chest open towards the sky, lift the hips up. Be steady, be patient. Trust your right shoulder to hold you up, to support you. Know that you can do it. Exhale, left hand comes down and hold there for a moment, high plank and then lower down onto the forearms once more for a second round of low plank. Press the floor away, puff up your upper back, belly sucked in, navel to the spine, legs strong, front and back body equally active. If you want to modify the pose, feel free to come onto your knees. Otherwise, stay with me. Steady breathing, soft face, talk to your body. Relax. And then slowly come down onto the hips, rest in Sphinx for a moment. And come up and rest in child's pose. Bring the arms next to your side, palms facing up, relax. And then slowly stretch the arms forward, come to downward facing dog. And from here, just bring your right foot forward behind your left wrist. And we're moving into pigeon pose. Your right knee should be a little bit further out than your hip. Sit up tall. Press into the top of the back foot. Bring the left hip a little bit further forward to align the hips. If you need to place something underneath your right thigh, do so. Keep the chest lifted. Maybe close your eyes. And by now, holding a pose for a minute should almost feel easy. We got used to holding the poses, dealing with them, being patient with the pose, with ourselves. You with me talking so much. And step back to down dog. 
Let's move into the other side. Left foot behind the right wrist. Sink your right knee down. Come onto the top of the right foot. Align the hips. Make sure your right foot is right behind your right hip. Left knee a little bit further out than your hip. Sit up tall, lift the chest. Squeeze the thighs towards each other. Bring softness into your jaw, your face. Just a few more breaths. Bring the hands forward, tuck the toes under, step back to downward facing dog. Stretch your back, squeeze the thighs towards each other and step, step forward, extend the legs out. Our next posture is Paschimottanasana, deep forward fold. You might need to sit up on a bolster or a block. Take an inhalation, lift the chest up and an exhale, slowly start folding down from the hips, belly reaching towards the thighs. Find a depth that works for you. Spine is long and straight. If you're all the way down, catch hold of your feet. Relax the neck. Thighs are active, kneecaps lifted, feet flexed, heels pressing into the earth. Slow the breath down. And just a few more breaths. See if you can lengthen a little bit more with the next inhalation and deepen with the last exhalation in the pose. And then inhale, lift the spine up. Let's move into Upavishta Konasana. Spread the legs wide. Inhale, lift the chest and exhale, fold forward, straight back. Again, you don't have to lower down all the way. Do what your body allows you to do. Maybe you're pressing into your hands, chest away from the floor. It's important to keep a long spine. The legs are active. Feet flexed, face relaxed, the thighs active and rolling out, knees pointing up, find your steadiness, find a stretch in your inner thighs.
and then inhale slowly lift up bring the feet in and in front of you and we're moving into Navasana you can do a modified variation by supporting yourself with the hands on the floor otherwise keep the knees bent or straight palms facing up arms parallel to the floor chest lifted back straight one minute look past your toes Bring a soft smile into your face. Relax the jaw. Relax your forehead. Draw the knees in a little bit closer towards your chest. Find a position that you can hold. It's not really about depth here. It's about holding the position, being fine with being in it for a minute. And then slowly roll down onto the back. Draw the knees into your chest. Relax for a moment. From here we're moving into bridge pose. So bring your feet a little bit closer to your sit bones. Maybe you can hold on to the front of your ankles or locate your heels. Press into the feet and lift the hips up. Bend the elbows, fingertips looking up towards the ceiling, palms facing the hips. Don't hold on to your hips. Just press into the elbows Kick the hips up even higher. Activation in the glutes, in your hamstrings. Keep the chin away from the chest. Push the sternum towards your face. We are almost there. Keep breathing steady and soft. And lower down, exhale. Bring the feet together. Let the knees fall out to the side. Rest for a moment. Observe your breath and let the nervous system calm down. We're going to move into another variation, into full upward facing bow pose, Urva Dhanurasana. If you don't want to practice full wheel, then you can just repeat the same pose as we just did. Prepare. If you're moving into the full position, grab a hold of your front ankles, position the hands behind the shoulders, inhale to lift up, keep the heels away from the floor at the beginning. Again, it's not about depth, it's about holding the position for one minute, find steadiness. Relax the head, connect to the breath. If you want to lower the heels down, do so. Otherwise, stay on your toes. If you're doing bridge pose, press firmly into the feet. Lift the hips up higher. Same applies to Urva Dhanurasana. Elbows are straight neck is relaxed create space in your shoulder blades and 
and exhale, slowly come down, release out of the posture. Straighten the legs, keep the feet flexed and squeeze the ankles against each other. Rest the arms in cactus shape and let the spine find a neutral position. It's not Shavasana yet, just hold on, relax your breath, your nervous system. And then slowly lift the legs up. Let's come into Garudasana shape with the legs. So bring your right leg across the left and bring the knees over to your left side. Arms wide, look over the right shoulder. Relax both shoulders down onto the floor. Spine is relaxing, lengthening. It's a beautiful counter pose after deep back bends. So relax here as good as you can. Inhale, come back to center and then wrap the left leg around the right and lower the knees down to the right side. Look over the left shoulder. And slowly come out of the position, draw the knees into your chest. The next posture is optional. I'm going to move into a headstand. If you don't want to practice headstand, you can come into full happy baby pose or do one leg at a time. As a reminder, you open the knees and you hold on to the outer edges of your feet and draw the knees closer towards your armpits, releasing the sacrum down towards the floor. If you practice headstand, prepare, measure the elbows, interlace the fingers, relax the head down and lift up. Once you're up, find your balanced breathing straight away. Inhalations and exhalations have the same length, same intensity. Find steadiness through the breath. Headstand is a beautiful posture to cool down, to close off a practice. It's an asana with many benefits. Improving the blood flow of the eyes, the 
blood flow to the head and the scalp, strengthening shoulders, arms, the core. By being upside down, we're stimulating the lymphatic system, decreasing fluids in the legs and ankles and feet. And then slowly come down with control. Relax in child's pose. Inhale, slowly come up. Sit up straight for a moment. If you were practicing happy baby pose, come and meet us in a last forward fold. This is going to be a passive variation of Paschimottanasana, a yin yoga pose called caterpillar. Use a couple of pillows or a bolster if you need to support the head. Otherwise, just Relax your head down, round the spine. Let go of all muscular action. Let the palms face upwards. Release all tension in the body. And then slowly come up and find your way into Shavasana. Set yourself up maybe with a bolster underneath the knees. Feet are a little bit wider than hip distance with apart. Arms resting next to the body, palms facing up. Open your hair, give your skull a rest. Open the mouth slightly, relax the jaw. Relax all your face muscles. Relax the chest and the belly, the legs, the front and the back body. Take a deep inhalation and exhale through the hands, through the feet, through the crown of the head, let go. You were doing amazing in this practice, the practice of patience, endurance. And now absorb all the benefits of your effort. Relax.
and then slowly find your way back into the body. Take a deep breath in and rest your left hand on top of your heart, right hand on top of your belly. Connect to your heart, to your breath. Feeling into the inner landscape. Take a moment here to send out gratitude to your body for giving you the patience and the endurance to hold those postures, to be steady. If you did come out of some postures earlier or you found yourself complaining, just laugh about it. All this is just a practice. We're all in this together. We're facing the same challenges. It's also practice to not take ourselves too serious. Draw the knees into your chest and roll over to your right side. Rest for a couple of breaths. And then slowly push yourself up, come into a seat, cross your legs and just rest your hands on top of the thighs, bringing the index and the thumb together. Sit up tall, relax your face. Take a couple of breaths here. For a moment, come back to the intention of today's practice, which was all about patience. And just feel in your heart that you have added a good amount of patience onto your account. And with this feeling, bring the hands in front of your heart. Let's close the practice with one arm together. Take a deep breath in. Exhale everything out and inhale to chant. Bow down to your heart. Let's bow down to each other. Thank you so much for joining me for this physical and especially mental practice. I hope you enjoyed the class. Thank you so much. Have a beautiful day. Namaste.